What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Wavy Kid Brims, a.k.a. the Jersey God of Westchester. And I'm coming at you with the Summer Madness 6 recap. Now, you already know, I was in the building, front row, every event, like always. But we're going to get right into this recap. So, the first battle of the night was the surprise battle. And it was Cortez versus New Jersey Twerk. Yo, niggas need to give the respect that Cortez deserves. I don't know why niggas hate nor Cortez, but Cortez is nice. Like, I don't know why y'all hate him. Like, his pen is fire. He's very consistent. He shows up with all three rounds all the time. Like, I don't I don't get why y'all hate Cortez. You need you need to give him his respect that he deserves. Like, that's. But uh, to get into the battle, um, Cortez's first round was fire. Uh, Twerk's first round, it was fire too, but I gave... Um, I gave uh, Cortez the first round. Twerk clearly won the second. It wasn't debating. He clearly won the second. In the third, uh, Cortez's uh, whole uh, school scheme was fire. Like, throughout the whole round, he was just scheming. And shit was, this shit was fire. And Twerk kind of ended uh, dry. Like, he, he didn't end that well. Uh, like, his, his strapped in, like, madness thing, it really wasn't that good. Like, the, his previous ones. So, uh, I gave Cortez the battle 2-1. Now, the first battle on the card that happened was JC versus Rum Nitty. JC is the battle of the year. I'm telling y'all this right now. He is the battler of the year. He's arguably never lost a round in the URL so far. He 3 old Rum Nitty. Like, Rum Nitty, he had his moments. Like, he had fire rounds, but JC clearly won that battle. 3-0. There was no debate in that at all. And then the next battle after that was T-Top versus Av. Yo, T-Top was on some other shit last night. Like, T-Top's rounds were all fire. Angles, punches, schemes. Like, he was punching with Av. Like, that shit was crazy. Like, yo, Av was, Av was fire, but I gave T-Top um, the battle 2-1. The only... Possible 3-0. The only round that I found was debatable, I think, was the f the first round. The first round was debatable, but T-Top clearly won the last two. The battle after that that happened was uh, Hitman versus Shine. Now, that battle, it took place like a, almost an hour after the T-Top versus Av because Smack and Beasley addressed the crowd saying like there was like complaints about the time or whatever. And you know us, like, we've been standing online since very early in the morning, and then standing in the venue when it's hot, fucking everyone's smoking and everything. Like, we just want to see battles. So, you know, we we, they, we started booing everything during the intermission because we want to see battles. Like, we just don't want to stand there and everything. But, you know, the battle happened. Yo, Hitman was on his shit. This was the Arsenal Hitman that we needed to see. Like, you know, Sean, Sean was fired, but he did steal a line from uh, Old Red with the uh, open rounds like a letter C. And everyone in the crowd noticed that right off the bat when he said it, like Old, uh, Old Red said that. So he stole that line. But Hitman, yo, Hitman won. 2-1 clear, possible 3-0. But Hitman, like, clearly won that battle. There was no debate. He clearly won that battle. The next battle after that was Briz versus Calico, that battle was so fucking trash, that shit was, di I was disappointed, cause you know, we thinking, oh, Calico, he's on Summer Madness, starting to feel like Summer Madness again, the only round he won was the first round, and it was clear, and then Briz won the last two, like, Calico was, like, rapping, I don't know what, I don't know what he was doing, to be honest, like, that shit, that shit wasn't good, like, it, it was bad, so Briz won, that battle, 2-1. And then the last battle was Hollow the Don versus Tay Rock. Tay Rock is the most consistent battle rapper ever. He doesn't choke. Always come with three rounds. Like, he had, like, this battle was, was a little debatable. I'm not even gonna hold you. Hollow the Don had some fire shit. But, yo, Tay, Tay Rock had moments, too. Like, his second round was fire. 
Hollow's third was fire. The first round was very debatable. Like, that round could go either way. But, yo, Tay Rock showed the fuck up. He showed the fuck up. Like, he, yo, that, he, that, that battle was fire. That was a classic battle. And I hate throwing, and, like, I hate when people throw the word classic around every other time. But that battle, the Hollow, the Don vs. Tay Rock is a classic battle. That will easily get a million views, maybe in less than a week. Like, that, that shit need to drop ASAP. But yet that battle was debatable, so it could either be 2-1 either way. You know, some people saying Hollow 3-0, some people saying Rock 3-0, 2-1, 2-1, you know. But to me, that battle was 2-1 either way. I mean, I did have Hollow in the building, I believe. I don't know, I was, I was fucking tired. Like, I was exhausted. But, um, I say I had uh, Hollow Edge in the first, but I have to watch that battle again on cam to... To really pick a winner. But you know. That was my uh, Summer Madness 6 recap. Overall the event was dope. Had a great great time. Even though my fucking legs felt like noodles afterwards. But it was all worth it. But make sure you like. Comment. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. For more content. And I'm out of here. Once again. It's your boy Wavy Kid Brims. A.K.A. the Jersey Guy of Westchester. And I'm off this. Easy.